John here. Um, today is Friday the 26th of May 2017. So just to catch up with the um, Paramount Chiefs um, up in uh, Tati Marae. Um, King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. I've just gone through our site, our main website, the Maui Powerhouse uh, Group Limited, Limited Company in London, you'll see on the main page, where this music is playing, uh, the PDF files right up the front. For now, I'll tidy up the site later. Um, I'll just turn this off. Um, so you'll see all the 250 countries we're taking this flag into. And I'm just arranging now the uh, Paramount Chiefs to go to London. I'm just going to explain how that works. I've been on this for a long time, uh, for many years. And recently, I, in the last five, six years, I had Jamie uh, teaching her what to do on these sites, including the um, uh, Maui Powerhouse site, this one that you'll see, MauiPowerhouse.com. I'll put the... Um, camera on it afterwards and run through some of the issues that we're going through legally uh, with the Paramount Chiefs bringing them up to speed. They're not familiar with uh, all this uh, which I shared with Mohi Manakau, Paramount Chief, uh, while he was alive. All his information I'm holding uh, as his executor and administrator of his business uh, with the Freemasons in uh, Scotland. Um, uh, with the Manukau Company, the registered company in uh, Edinburgh, Scotland. So I'm putting all that together. We're going to go with the Paramount Chiefs to uh, England and we're going to um, to go into the William Yard first. That's where King William set off around the world with his um, uh, navy and military and his authority with this flag, uh, more so with the Red Cross and the Navy uh, with that um, um, uh, British flag, not this one, yet. Um, uh, then we uh, put the flag up there with his memorial in um, Devon, Port, uh, village, uh, the William Yard, where he um, set all the ships up with provisions, uh, food, and for the long journeys around the world. That's in 1830, uh, when he became king of uh, Britain, UK, England, Scotland, Northern Ireland. <coughs> and so um, um, he uh, set up uh, his administration there. That's where we're going to first and um, set up our office there uh, and then um, have a celebration on the, should be tentatively, tentatively uh, around about the 16th, 17th, um, we'll be leaving New Zealand to go uh, straight to London and from there uh, to have the um, celebrations there on the about the 17th. And then we go from there in Devon to um, Plymouth uh, Courthouse, uh, the county sheriff, and meet there. I'm arranging all of this uh, uh, now, uh, this uh, week coming. Um, so I've uh, been setting up all the... Um, travel and also the trips around in a motor caravan which would be the better of um, getting around and staying in motels where we want to go as a break but uh, we'll be uh, have the facilities in a six berth caravan with uh, um, internet on the move um, uh, roving inside um, six berth uh, with everything there toilet showers and all sorts so we'll be going into Plymouth on that from the airport at um, 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 no, London Airport um, and then from um, Devon to Plymouth uh, and um, raise the flag there at the courthouse and have a meeting with the sheriff and the judge in the court to set up our native grand jury trial magistrate court on the King's bench side. There's a Queen's Bench side there and we're going in as a King's Bench side and me being the surrogate King in this private contract with the Paramount Chiefs to the Paramount Chief Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau or in short 
Waikato, Manukau in Glasgow, or not Glasgow, in Edinburgh, um, Scotland, um, the registered company there. We're going to seize that title and go back into partnership there, as it was back then with King William, um, um, from this point in time of this flag, when I get to that bit, the 1834 flag of New Zealand. Okay, so we're in um, Plymouth now, uh, having meetings with the um, courts and to fit in with the native side that's missing in the Admiralty uh, Courts of Session Act 1834, or 1832, sorry, with King William IV um, taking all the Admiralty out and put into the Admiralty Court Session. So there we'll set that up uh, and I'll go through, they'll run through that on the um, Facebook site and also our website uh, of the Courts of Session who we are as the native partner in private contract Admiralty with King William IV set this all up in um, Plymouth. So from that county um, uh, court we take um, uh, King Ernest Augustus and uh, the fifth and his son King Ernest Augustus New Prince Regent, um, Ernest Augustus Prince Regent uh, name into the court there in Plymouth as the King of Britain UK. So that's the um, uh, continuity of sovereignty of this King who set up the stock market in New York and also that commercial contract, private contract with us and this flag. That's been the Admiral and uh, Power of the Sea title in the um, um, Admiralty uh, House in London. We'll get to that a little later. So we are claiming that title of the Lord of the Sea, the Power of the Sea, of this flag as being the eight-point star in the four corners of the earth conquering under this king and his commercial trading bank flag jurisdiction of making money out of other people's lands okay and their natural resources that's who we are with this flag that's the only one with those eight point stars that they all seems to be wearing in the royal families that they don't have any connection to this side of the bank and the means of making money with the St. Patrick's Order and the St. Mary's Church of birth certificates. The St. St. Patrick's Church to collect the money as the rent chief and the St. Mary's Church as the birth certificate on my land in 1831 in Tikitiki. So I'm just saying these are the elements that are missing in any one's jurisdiction in the Queen's Crown side. This is the king's side with the native chiefs, paramount, that I'm taking to England with me as the surrogate king to talk for the king, the King William III and the King William IV. I'm talking for those two kings and King Ernest Augustus. He's already the king to take King William's place, but we're the ones that are connected to his fortunes and his inheritance with this commercial trading bank flag of free passage through the world and all the rest of it that goes with it that's missing and not being told. I'm telling our story straight to England. Okay, so now we have nominated King Ernest Augustus as the King of Britain UK, not England, King of Britain UK. He's already the King of Britain UK under this flag and straight to the World Court with King William III there of Orange as the owner of that land in <coughs> Dutch or Netherlands or Brussels, call it what you like, but Holland, all of that comes under Dutch Zealand title here in New Zealand that's holding that title there in that world court as our authority with this eight point star in the four corners of the earth court. That's our court. I'm saying that from the um, um, Plymouth Native Grand Jury trial magistrate court with the chiefs standing right there with it with this flag up it goes on the courthouse on the outside and inside on the bench or bank we are the bank with this flag 
It is a bank flag. It is a commercial trading bank flag of a king, the last king on this planet Earth. Okay? So that's what I'm saying. We're the native with the surnames. Wānoa, Waitai, Taurua, and Mohini, Parapara, Manukau. Okay? We're taking those native surnames to Britain to claim the other side of this flag to the white man, King William the Third, King William the Fourth, King Ernest Augustus the Fifth. Okay? You got that? That's who we are. That's what's missing in your jurisdiction, in your courts, is us on the other side of the Queen with the King. The King is being made silent no more. He's talking now here and be talking over there with King Ernest Augustus. So if you're watching this video, King Ernest Augustus, be prepared because we're coming to meet you. I'm going to write to the uh, uh, British Navy, uh, Lord of the Sea, uh, Sir Philip Jones, and tell him I'm bringing the Paramount Chiefs with the right surnames, the right records, for the records there will be correct in Westminster and correct here at Titi Marae and Waitangi Marae. King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. That's on our native side. Okay, so we have an equal commercial contract private uh, jurisdiction of Admiralty to make money out of the flag and all that it means. Okay, so now we're leaving on our um, um, six birth caravan with uh, four of us. Uh, there might be one or two more, but that's four of us, me, myself, um, Paramount Chief King Itodo, uh, and uh, Paramount Chief Bundy Waitai, Paramount Chief Manahi uh, Parapara Mohini, and Paramount Chief uh, Selwyn Karaka, or, um, or Hedewini Karaka, Selwyn Clark, that's his name, okay? Uh, us or someone might stay back and there's four of us going. Me and the three Paramount Chiefs. Okay, so that's where we travel. We next go uh, straight to um, the Navy in Britain, the British Navy, and we go to the um, uh, Navy uh, establishment uh, or the Admiralty building. The Admiralty building. Uh, which I'll show you afterwards. Um, that um, we'll be we'll be going straight into there. Uh, I just forget what you call it. The subject matter jurisdiction on Revolvi. I'll just have a look where we're looking at. At the um, oh, I haven't got it yet. Anyway, we're going straight into the court there uh, um, of the Navy and their. Um, uh, building, the building that is called. I've got all this written down. I've, I've got a good handle, but it's a lot of information uh, that I'm putting together. The Sea Power Bomb Proof Building, the Admiralty Headquarters. There's a Sea Power, that's what it's called, Bomb Proof Building. The President of the Board was known as the First Lord of the Admiralty, who was a member of the Cabinet after 1806. The First Lord of the Admiralty was always a civilian, while professional heads of the Navy came to be, and still is today, called as the First Sea Lord. There we go. We're going to see the First Sea Lord, which is Philip Jones, and the building, the Admiralty Extension Building, late 19th century, or right till now, 2017, the Department of Education will move into the building in September 2017 following the Commonwealth Office decision to leave the building, um, consolidate its London staff into the building, the King Charles Street um, in London. So we're taking uh, um, we're, we're going to ask to use the building, the extension of the education building, extension building on this Admiralty House uh, mission south of the building um, uh, in Whitehall. We're going to use the building to educate people of our native side that's missing in that Admiralty flag here. This flag should be flying high as the beginning and the end of it all, 
in the Admiralty of making money from piracy in the seas, high seas, or the Navy moving about the world with what authority, whose authority and where did it come from. It came out of this flag and King William IV consolidated all those um, um, uh, fortunes of um, William the Conqueror back to uh, uh, King Solomon uh, through to King William III, the creator of the Bank of England and creator of the uh, St. Patrick's Order Church uh, to collect the rent as rent chiefs, eight point star on the flag in the four corners of the earth. He put that together and the pound note. He created the pound note and the pound note bank and that's who we are. We have the right to use it, that's why we're using it online as debtor instruments against all the fraud pirates from that court, from this building. The Admiralty Arch is uh, limited to the old, is the Admiralty Arch is something to the old Admiralty, attached to the old Admiralty Building Bridge, part of the ceremonial route to um, Buckingham Palace through Trafalgar Square. So that's where we're going to Trafalgar Square through there to Buckingham Palace to this Admiralty Arch uh, building, the old Admiralty building, that's where who we are. That's who we are, Kingi and Bundy and Manahi, uh, Parapara Mohini. That's who we are going as. We're going as the authority, as legal trading bank commercial land owner partners to Britain, the Navy, and in the first instance to attached to King William IV, this flag, and his jurisdiction to make money out of the flag and what it's meant to do for us. It hasn't happened yet. And they are still using this authority with us attached to it. So we're going to stand there in this building, the Department of Education, the extension of this Admiralty building, which was there in the 19th century, used for that purpose, of the um, uh, these uh, foreign uh, Commonwealth uh, Commonwealth Office uh, staff was in that building for all that time, and they've only gone to uh, King Charles Street in London to set up themselves there. So we're going to take their place in that building. We'll find a place to set our office up. It has got three flats in there or units to live. So we'll find a place to live. We're going straight into uh, Piccadilly. I had a place there where I was going to stay and buy the whole place. Uh, at that time in 2012, I went there to go to the HM Treasury office to claim £16 million as a first payment. Now we're going there for the rest of it. Uh, this time, I got stymied the last time. The government here stymies everything I do, not this time. Now that the police, CIB, lost the case against me in the Auckland District Court, and we're going back to get Cook Street. We're going to seize that with this Paramount Chief and this authority that I'm talking about that they've ignored, stayed silent, said nothing about the authority we have straight to the King and straight to the inheritance in HM Treasury and Queen Victoria Trust. That's why we got that pound note there, Kingy, to wipe the whole lot into the King's Bench Court inside this Admiralty Headquarters. We're going to go in the Headquarters because its name in that bomb-proof building where we're going, it's called the Sea Power. That's what our Tidal Energy project is. Um, not intentional, but it's certainly looking like the tidal turbines are going to be fitted in there under British rule of law, Admiralty, and us. The ideas behind that, that's why I was getting Kevin and it, uh, Kevin, sorry, Rice, um, my engineer partner, to come with me, but he doesn't have to. I can go and handle it myself, and he'll be managing the buildings and, and the construction sites here for the um, tidal turbine platforms in the sea of uh, Renfrew Bank. So that's going straight up with this sea power building, bomb proof building, in London just across from Trafalgar Square and Buckingham Palace. 
So that's our title right there. Here, you're looking at it, this flag. All right? I'm passionate about the flag, but this is taking it right to the bone and right to the nerves. The Admiralty, the oldest building known as Admiralty. Ripley Building, three-story, U-shaped building, brick building, designed by Thomas Ripley. Ad Admiralty Home, mansion south of the building, no entrance from Whitehall, three-story, yellow, yellow brick, three ministerial flats in the building were um, occupied in 2012. So somebody's in those uh, three flats uh, as tenants. So we're going to look into that when we go there. And I'm saying to uh, Theresa May, Theresa May, Prime Minister of Britain, UK, we are your partners in legal terms. We are your legal, legitimate, native partners to the whole world because our title in the native, you'll find, is being compromised for all the other native countries in the world off our blueprint here in New Zealand through the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. They have been acting as magistrate and admiralty at the same time because that's what I'm looking into. The magistrate is acting admiral on the land and that's what Prince Philip has just resigned as a humbug admiralty on a ship from his um, pompous position as being says the wrong things from where he stands has nothing to do with Admiralty. Absolutely nothing to do with Admiralty. We are the water people. We are the navigators here in our blood, our surnames and our whakapapa or genealogy as the Pacific water people, the biggest ocean in the world, has navigated the whole place with our eyes closed. Okay? That's our connection with Admiralty to the King as being Admiralty and founding our country uh, with Captain Cook in 1773 and then when the flag went up this one that's in 1834, 20th of March 1834 this was the flag of New Zealand that still is under our authority as unbroken sovereignty 183 years and two months to this date we're going to go into your country to put the flag up as still going, still connected as unbroken sovereignty right back then to King William to us today in partnership business. We're going with the Tidal Energy Project to be the first in the hydrogen economy to set off in Scotland, in Pentland Firth and also Orkney Islands. Uh, one of those places there in Margate off, um, off um, um, the um, Dover in uh, England. Uh, between France and England, we're going in that estuary uh, to put the turbine platform in there as well to make the first hydrogen um, fuel, jet fuel, rocket fuel from there. So that's our plan. We are going with a plan. We're going with the dual government. We already got these online on our um, website, moipowerhouse.com. Um, so you can go there and have a look. You'll see the government there set out already in a commerce, commercial uh, uh, commonwealth uh, government, dual government with Britain, you, Britain, uh, Sir Richard Mate and Sir um, Philip Jones. We already got a plan to go with you in our own capacity as dual with these King William the uh, Third, Acts of Westminster at 1650 to 1703. We're using those acts in our authority as dual government with you and also King William the fourth um, 1830 to 1837 we're using those acts those are only 1984 pages of acts that's all we need we don't need all the rest of acts you break anyway all your countries in the Commonwealth break them break all your laws because there's too many laws and it gets us nowhere okay so we're wiping all that lot out and the new world order is us with this eight point star. And so however that pans out, we're going along with watching what you do with it. Uh, uh, Pope, because King William is being compromised by you and the Queen and the Rothschild banks. 
That's our contract in private. It's not your contract. This flag is a contract flag that has nothing to do with you. Okay? This is straight to England, straight to Britain, UK, government, and those people running it. Not you, Queen. You're going to the EU Parliament. So you're out with your Maoris. Out. Okay? Your Maoris are out of our way. This is Maui speaking. Okay? So now we've got uh, out of uh, Plymouth and we're driving on our way to uh, back to uh, Westminster. We're going straight into, um, into the Navy uh, to deal with them on about the 19th. Uh, that's Wednesday. And then on the Thursday, we'll be going into Westminster. I've got to write to them first and arrange all of this uh, before we can uh, go there. Otherwise, it's pointless going there with no, um, no, uh, uh, no one to talk to on that end with our authority on this end. Uh, be, be mindful that the Waitangi Marae is the Queen's business running in there racket and corrupted as hell with the police here, with being the biggest fraudsters in this country, the judges themselves in the courts, and they won't win the case against all of this lot, I'm saying, with this flag and those four paramount chiefs. There are more paramount chiefs, but I'll pick the ones. That's all you need to represent the whole country. All the other chiefs had their chance to come to those meetings. They failed to come and turn up talking like this. Okay, that's what I mean. Talking in this jurisdiction different to the Queen's jurisdiction. Now all those people who are playing around with the 1835 and Titriti of Waitangi, you stay on that side in the 1835. Don't cross over. Alfred Mitchell, do not cross over from what you're doing with the Titriti and the 1835 in Australia. That's where you belong. Your Mitchell family comes from Sydney, Australia. You stay on that side and deal with that because you've got a big debt problem to, to, to sort out. You've got to sort out all that side. Stay there. I'm saying to you, you're either that side or the Moai side. Clean out. The 1834 Declaration of War flag side is the one that makes the money out of everybody on that side and everybody around the world. So stay right out if you've not got the paperwork to go. Nobody's got the paperwork to go with this. No one in the world has got the paperwork to stand there with Paramount Chiefs to claim this lot. Okay? This is the real Admiralty side of the flag. You've got that side, which is Australia playing around with Vice Admiral and screwed it up in corrupted fraud on that side of that flag. It's got to get the bill. So, Alfred, you, you've got to sort out the bills on that side, mate, then give the bills to us. Then we'll deal with it on this side of the flag, on the other side. That's what I say to you all in Te I said it quite plainly. This is two sides to this flag of jurisdictions. You can't mix the two. You can't mix the two because they don't go together. And there's only 13 chiefs in this one. And everybody around the country that signed later is not a contract. You can't go around and add more to the contract of between two people. This is between the British and the Paramount Chiefs sitting under the tree at Tingairi. Tingairi is Kafaru the Giant of Waikato's father from Raglan. Okay, I've got all that history. I've got it all to go with these titles, the Manukau Moriori title in Edinburgh. It's sitting over there, out of harm's way here. It's sitting safe over there. That's where I'm taking these paramount chiefs to claim it over there. You can't do it here, Alfred and Nelson Painter. You can't do this side of the law in Admiralty here. It's all over there. That's where this bright spark Manukau went to and those two Maoris flicked out of here and went there to sort it, not here. They were clever to go with Kendall and hang around the bishops in the churches who have the first title on this land is on my land, uh, Alfred. It's in Tiki Tiki, 1831. The first birth certificate title in the world to use the Pound Note Bank and all its jurisdictions in the bank itself through King William, to make the money, was from my marae, the Rahui marae. Rahui marae in Tiki Tiki, okay, and St Mary's Church on the other side of the road on the hill. That is the marae that talked with the partner, 
the bishops and Clendon, James Reedy Clendon, sailed his ship and berthed in Hicks Bay, B-E-R-T-H. Then he walked around and got a ride around on our Wanoa land. I'm talking about Wanoa, I'm talking about myself and the Maui. Okay, so he walked around on our land with our 15 Wanoa Marais under my tupunas, Uetaha, for the Potiki Rua Ki Waipu area of Cape Runaway to East Cape to Ragitukia, Tiki Tiki, Maraihara, Maraihara, up the back of uh, uh, Rokumura Range and Mount Hikarangi included, down to uh, Cape Runaway, Portaka, and back to Matakawa and Lawson Point, Hicks Bay, Te Aroro, Horoera, East Cape, and back to Rangitukia. Okay, that's the area I'm talking about. That's my 15 Wanoa Marais was set up right through that whole place <coughs> as being the first British church birth certificate title here in the world on the commerce of King William IV's flag title, 1830 to 1837, period of time. Okay, 31, 1831 was the first time that document with the birth, deaths and marriages in Tikiti went onto the stock market that King William IV set up between 1820 and 1830 period of 50 years in the Navy from 13 years old. He set the stock exchange up in New York all that period of time before he became king at 68. You got that? So that's what I do. I go back to who put it all together, go for it. Not from Australia, mischief people and pirates that came from there to here with Cook Street and that uh, Douglas Ricard Bell and Jamie Peters. You see, those are the pirates who stole the land off the Manukau's here and this crazy government here with Lynn's Land Information New Zealand, wouldn't put the Manukau's name on that Manukau title. You see, and that's the bone I've got to pick with you. And your ancestors stole the Manukau lands at the Manukau heads under Tainui. You see, the Tainui people came later. I know all the story because Mohi told me. Why would Tainui say they belong to there and yet they slipped their waka into the Manaka Harbour? And why has everyone in the treaty claims got the Manaka name on their title claims? I said in the, in the court hearing with Mohi Manaka in his Y121 to the Officers Treaty Settlements, OTS, Rachel Holbrook, Take all those names, you tell all those claimants to take that Manukau name off their claim title to the Waitangi Tribal. Well, they, they, they couldn't because they would be left with nothing. Because that title is sitting in Edinburgh. You see, you see, Alfred, why you can't go and dig up somebody else's surname of a two pointer and use it. You can't do that on this side with Moai, doesn't take lies or second hand information on these titles that I put together. No, I pick who I'm going to put there. I put Selwyn Clark there because the Clarks were the registrars on these deeds of title to Britain direct. That's what they call the Crown titles. Not not the not the New Zealand Crown titles, the British Crown titles of the King and Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria go straight to England if you can get that far, up the chain, right? You're sitting down this far down the triangle, the stupid matrix is falling to bits. Right? It was put there to fool everybody into thinking the Rothschilds at the top and all you lot at the bottom. No, I'm going straight to the top, Alfred, because that's where all their money came from, this flag. And it's jurisdiction of Admiralty of the Declaration of War flag. That's what Machitara was on the right path, but he went down the 12 tribe, tribes of Israel. No, nah, I've thrown that out, because it's nothing to do with them. This has nothing to do with them. This is just commercial contract business, private and nobody's business, to talk about anything else in this court. Okay, you got that? Don't mess around in this court, because you get a pound note on your head. Nothing to do with anybody here. It's all in Britain. That's why we're going there. Because I've put all the itinerary together and put it online and put it 
straight to those uh, paramount sheets so they know I don't muck around. I set everything up first. I'll do my homework, Alfred. And I don't go beating around the bush with UCC law and all of this. I don't use any of those laws. I don't use the Tetura Fenwell Acts because it's all corrupted. Everything you touch that's got the Queen's head on it or Tetriti or everything else is out the window. You can't talk like that here. You can only talk Maui talk, which is that statue standing in London, Brussels. We're going to Brussels too. That's our world court with this flag on this side, not that side. On the war side, because war makes business. The war side of this flag is making all the business while you guys are sitting on the other side playing with the uh, government of Wellington's second hand titles. Okay, so now we've got that far. We're, we're, we're in this building, this Admiralty building, and uh, hopefully we've got an office there to make our place in the history, in the education department there, and I'll be doing a lot of talking with the chiefs there to um, make their story be heard and also um, Selwyn Clark or Heroini Karaka will be speaking a lot about the Maori Battalion that fought the wars for that British people and this flag. Not for us, it was for them and their business, you see. So we have a stake in that business. We have a direct stake in the Crown King's business. And so we're going there to claim that title to our portion of the wealth that's been made from this flag in our kings. Okay, and we're going to put Ernest Augustus straight in to keep our flag going on our side of the bloodlines, the Paramount Chief's bloodlines and the King's bloodlines, not the Queen's fraudulent, corrupted, Satan, Lucifer, Luce, Illuminati, all that crap is going out the window with them. We're going to boot them out and anything else but that. We're going there to take our place as the rightful jurisdiction of using the king's power for the king's people, common law people. Okay, so that's what I'm saying a strong uh, point about uh, who we are as natives uh, to uh, take our place for all the other native countries that were waiting for us. They were waiting for Maori, well that's the wrong one to wait for because this has nothing to do with Maori because the Maori belongs to them, the crown, queen, thugs and pirates. That's where Maori name comes from. It's their copyright and their patent name. It's nothing to do with us. The Moai scrubs them out. Right? The Moai is the memorial statue that's standing in those powerful places. It's standing in New York with the stock exchange. That's our business with this flag. Do not argue with me because that's what it is. The Moai statue is God's L-O-R-E law. Law, deeds of truth title. You have to have an opposite to fraud and corruption. You have to have something of truth beside it to negative and positive, okay? Charge on the earth. So then Washington DC got the other Moai statues. These are real Moai statues. That's my own one or title. That's Kingi's, Tahitian, mine, uh, Manahi's, and also um, uh, Bundy's, and Selwyn Kraka, or Clark. Selwyn is a is a native in him, although his clerk name, I put him there deliberately because I would have put four native surname titles with the male bloodline. I put him there as the male white man. Okay, It goes together, that's how contracts are made. We have the right man that knows everything, he's 98, he's Mary Battalion, he's a military man, he's the military flag, the war flag, he's been to war done that, been there, Kingi, been there, done that, they have two war men, Kingi went to uh, uh, Vietnam, and um, uh, Selwyn, he's the, uh, the, the battalion, married battalion, that went to Crete and, and uh, um, Africa and all that, okay, the Boer War and all that sort of crap, where they blew everybody up to take all their land and their resources, now these native people get their land back, we get ours back, Cook Street, we take the whole flipping lot back and all the natives get theirs back. I see now online that one country is getting their ancestral um, inheritance back. Britain returns stolen artifacts to Nigeria 117 years later. See? So they're getting theirs back so we get ours back too. That means we get our mana back. That's the mana whenua. I'm telling Kingi, the mana whenua is the Maui statue 
that is us, our DNA, and the carving of the four pillars of the four main tribes, carving that mohi, put it all together. And I'm going to explain that in another video on how that works. And so they're waiting, the Paramount Chiefs don't know that, but they understand what a parliament is, but they've never been able to put it together without that. That's why it's never got together at Waitangi, ever at all. The upper house would not go anywhere without this and this. The right people talking. You've got a whole bunch of, what do someone call them, monkeys, uh, running around in circles and doing things that have got nothing to do with this money side of making us better than we, what we are poor, running around with no money and everybody else is living on our land and making the most of it. Now it's going to change, that's going to change once we get this set up. We have the right to do it, we have the authority to do what I'm saying. In the end, I've been saying it for a long time, it's true. Everything I say are deeds of truth, fact, evidence, citations on these videos. Okay? Take note, um, Theresa May and um, Britain and also um, Sir Philip Jones, that we are coming there as the other partner to you, the commercial trading bank business partner to you. And our systems are all go, all our documents are in order, although needs a bit of adjustment with mine. I'm allowed to write any way I like. That's why it's all mixed up. That's my business. That's nothing to do with anybody. So I'm saying to money. He can fashion it to suit the other courts, but in our system of self-government, self-sovereign, we can do what we like. And I'm only saying we're following the land laws of England. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, I say this. We're going to put the flag up in uh, in this Admiralty building as the power of the sea. Right? The power of the sea, the tidal turbine, Moai tidal turbine power of the sea going into the waters there and around the world. It's going straight from there under the British military um, uh, protectorate. Under this flag it's a protectorate with the black line around the red, little red cross. The, the small red cross is King William, uh, King George III, the little cross in the corner at the top with the four, four eight-point stars. Uh, the little cross is King George III, the father of King George IV, King William IV, and King Ernest Augustus I. Those three kings with their father, and King Ernest Augustus V to succeed to those four kings. You got that? On this way. That's what I'm doing. Listen to what I say, and my lips move as being cited fact, evidence, in our Titi Marae King's Bench Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. Okay? I'm just for the record, King, for the record. Somebody should be writing all this up there. Uh, not me. Um, I'm on the move. So, now you see that's got the black strip around the little red cross is the British Navy military. You're obligated to us to protect our business. I've got all the business plans ready to go with the tidal turbines. That's massive. That's massive. And I left it till now, till our chiefs woke up, all of them around the country, woke up to reality of who we really are, not Maoris. We are Maui, <coughs> native. Okay, that's the new word. Get used to it. You can drop the Maori, you can stay with the Maori, but that's debt. You stay there in debt, the Maori is credit. creditor, and that's my position. So we get King William IV, until we get King Ernest III, the King Ernest the V then, then I'll drop back. But the inheritance of King William rests with us, the contractors. We are the second contractor, and everyone else is a third contractor. Third party, outside. You get the bill from us, the second party, to... Uh, first Lord of the Sea, uh, Philip Jones. He's the first to take King William's place with the Admiralty flag, the crown and anchor that's going that way and ours going that way. King William's 
crown and anchor going that way on our flag. We've got a flag with that on. And the crown and anchor British Admiralty going the other way. The first one is the one we've got, King William the Fourth crown and anchor, which made the money and made the laws, the bank laws, the power note laws, and the land laws of England at that time. Okay? That's our precedent case. 183 years and two months is this flag on the day we step onto England soil land in Westminster. So that's the 19th, the, the 20th, uh, we'll be in Westminster with uh, Theresa May and also um, with their um, ministerial uh, group there to put our uh, plans in for the tidal turbine uh, project, uh, economic development project with Britain to invite the British military to come to Rangituki on our land and set up to control the whole Pacific Islands as our Deeds of Truth title founding uh, of the Pacific Islands with the Moai Statue Memorial to go with it. Okay, so that's that. I'll just turn the video onto the um, site and before it runs out, um, if it does, well we've got most of it. So there we are, the um, Britain returns stolen artifacts to Nigeria 117 years later. So that's what we want to do with the Moai Statue, is to return it back to us. Uh, I'll just go on to our site um, here. Uh, that's our main um, website. Oh, that's my main site. Um, take that off. Um, so here, this is the main site that I'm running uh, every day. One of 80 sites. This is the main one that you'll come across. So you'll have to scroll right through it to find uh, anything. It's all uh, sort of mixed up. And, um, but uh, out of that, see, these are the main things that I drop on here. All the issues, and here with uh, Philippines, him, he's having problems because they're going to try and blow him up to get the um, uh, gold out of there. So we're going to put this right over the top of him to protect him from um, um, the Americans trying to steal the gold that's buried in his country. So he's put one of these uh, writ warrants that we made to uh, seize all the land back and the gold inside it, but we'll put a writ warrant right over the top to protect him uh, from the king that put those um, together in the first place. So now we have uh, all the videos here of everything that uh, I have on our, I'll put, put putting these on our website, moipowerhouse.com, starting from the latest here down. This is on my editor's site, but you won't see them appear like this on your site. Um, so um, our video is still running. Uh, so there's quite a few of them, but I'm explaining everything of what we do all the way through. There. So there's uh, 1,068 videos altogether, and that's a lot of information, but the latest ones uh, are here. I'll put these in line like this on our um, site, um, um, and you go to um, um, my Powerhouse Group Limited, um, mypowerhouse.com my, uh, my site, and you'll come across this page here, the main page with the 250 countries and their flags. We're putting these tidal turbines right into these countries uh, as our economic development. And uh, you'll see the power note here I put um, uh, Prince, uh, I mean King Ernest Augustus V. You see the eight point star here on our flag? There he is wearing it. He is the rightful inheritor to everything we do with this eight-point star flag in the four corners of the earth. He is the King of Britain, UK, legitimate. His wife is legitimate as husband and wife, uh, approved by the Queen is Elizabeth II, has approved their marriage as being royal. So he has the right title to put him and nominate him into Britain to take our title. There's 970 million trillion trillion pound notes under his head uh, as um, as the King of Britain, UK, Hanover, Aotea, New Zealand, Pacific Islands and the world, the New World Order is that eight point star right there on our flag. Him and us, the partner to him and this fortune that we're seizing off all the debtors on the Queen's side. This is King William III, King Arthur, okay? So we've got that on the notes there. So you'll see all the notes here, myself on the trillion pound note that we're putting on each pirate's head here in New Zealand. And one more for each day that goes past. That's what's happened on Cook Street with the 43. Uh, people have blocked me off, 
trying to uh, uh, stop me from doing what I'm doing legally. So that's Matt Taylor. He's our um, CEO in uh, in um, Brighton, New, uh, uh, England. Uh, he's he's looking after our company there, MoaiPowerhouse.com, uh, uh, Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company, in, registered in uh, London, Company's House. He's looking after that, uh, and um, uh, King Arthur and, uh, and King William III there on this power note. So that's our our group there, and also Jackie and Little Gordon in Scotland, um, up the road from Edinburgh. Um, where our Manukau company is. Now Jamie's coming off here because she didn't want to be with me anymore. So we'll move her and I'll put another photo in there. This one is uh, Desmond Wanoa with this uh, Moai with the crown on his head in Dunedin, South Island. This was the first one they put there, the government of New Zealand. Stole this one from East Island. That's real. And put it there. You'll notice that he's got this crown on his head. That's the Earth Crown. That's our law, L-O-R-E. Uh, deeds of truth, knowledge basket uh, that is uh, our title mana whenua to this country and the world. Okay, so that's very crucial because that uh, that is our uh, title we're taking to uh, Britain for the uh, paramount chiefs to go under this title to claim the Manukau Company title, the Pakia, the White Man's Law, L A W Law. Um, 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 Inheritance, the wealth, and all that. This is the, the land that has been taken from, uh, as us being the DNA. So Desmond is a sheriff, uh, proficient to take that job from me over while I go to Britain and sort that out. So that's our Kiwi, our, our icon. And here we see the um, flag flying on this um, um, uh, ocean monarch uh, ship here, the, our flag with eight point star on it of King William IV, 1834, flag of New Zealand on this ship and our seal here with the Moai there and the water money here, the water money currency card uh, to claim that uh, currency under King William IV jurisdiction of Admiralty in the sea from Sea Power and we're taking that main name Power of the Sea title with us uh, when we get to the Admiralty building in um, uh, London. Okay, that's me, myself, and the eight-point star here in the four corners of Earth, a part of our uh, logo. That's the Maui Powerhouse uh, engine, the uh, plasma engine that we're building after the um, tidal turbine um, project's finished. We're going straight into this most powerful engine out in the well. Uh, that will be an eye-opener. Uh, so down we go, this is the plane we want to get, that's the hydrogen plane for passengers and we're going to be first to get to it when we get this tidal turbine going in the sea. So that's how we get around four hours from here to London on one of those and that's what we envisage with the British uh, um, crown um, and the new king, uh, Ernest Augustus, to be nominated in by us and uh, that's what we intend to do on our trip there. This is all the uh, tidal turbine bridge and the uh, the spaceship here. Um, this uh, underwater uh, to carry all the fuel uh, from the tidal turbine bridge here uh, uh, to land or anywhere in the world. Uh, but we don't need to go anywhere in the world. We can just build it right there to short distance with the rocket engines here. We're going to power those and power this above the Moai statues. That'll be flying when I get going with it.